welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking welcome back if you're not new and everyone should be subscribing new and old but anyways today okay so it's wednesday i don't know why i always end up picking up my camera on a wednesday like why always wednesday maybe that's really what my schedule should be i don't know yeah it's like wednesday evening it's almost six o'clock um i haven't been able to do much today um i've just been completing my client's order which i pretty much finished last night it's just like the small things like tying up loose ends all that kind of stuff i'm about to show y'all right now so this was the main thing that had me like stressed but it came out so nice i hope y'all can see it it's really cute so i just have to finish adding a couple of the fringes on the arms and then i'll be done oh and tying up the loose ends and then it'll be done really i could have just stayed up a little longer last night to finish it and ship it today but i want to get some packaging i don't really do this as a business so i don't do crochet as a business i just do it i do my tutorials i make designs whatever but i don't promote myself as like you know crocheting for business i just take orders once in a while so i don't have packaging like i don't I haven't invested in packaging or cards or anything like that because i don't take orders consistently so i want to get something nice some kind of packaging from the store um and i have to go to the grocery store today i don't feel like doing that but i have to go to the grocery store today we need some stuff um yeah it's a lot going on also like just Ugh. it's just a lot of other stuff going on as well but i'm just trying to not stress out about things and just do what i need to do today so one day at a time right so i'm going to do that i'm going to go get the packaging stuff go to the grocery store i'm going to take y'all along with me tomorrow to ship it um i don't know what packaging i'm gonna get yeah i don't know what that's gonna look like but i'll show it to y'all later um but yeah when i get home i just need to and i lost my all of my darning needles apparently like i don't understand it's so weird because i just saw it like one of them i had just saw it and i know where i saw it and now it's not there very strange i'm gonna also have to buy one of those or a pack of those or whatever to tie in the ends weave in the ends um I'm so happy with the outcome. I cannot wait to record the tutorial. I'm probably going to start recording the tutorial for that tomorrow. Um, I really need to get both those tutorials done because really I'm making those for myself for when I go on vacation. So it's kind of like I need to get them done anyway <laughs> so that I can have them available to pack. So I'm going to get those done um i need to get those done like both of them this week or next week like they have to be done and then i'm also finishing up a blanket this is for a friend's um, niece that's being born so this needs to be finished as well but this the good thing about this like that this is coming out so pretty the good thing about this is that i can work on this whenever like watching tv whatever when i need measurements i can't I need surfaces, you know, where like I have enough space to lay it out. I don't like to put my client stuff on the floor, even though we don't wear shoes in our house. I just don't like, I don't know. I don't know if I want somebody to be like, yeah, had your stuff all laid out on the floor. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just be trying to be, you know, as neat and clean as possible. So I really only do it like I only measure at my table, stuff like that, my where I do all my other crochet stuff. So I can usually only do that in my bedroom. I don't have a TV in here or anything. So it kind of confines me. And I think that's why I get stressed out sometimes. I think I'll be getting stressed because <laughs> I don't know. I think I just be getting like, I need to maybe stop doing that and stop confining myself when I work on things. Cause I just get very secluded and I start to feel like oh, I need freedom, right? I don't know why I'm talking so fast also. I don't know. I need to calm down. I haven't had any caffeine today. I am going to go get a frozen coffee though because I really, really want one. I've been craving one. A frozen coffee with oat milk from Dunkin' Donuts. And I don't know, maybe y'all can tell, like I'm very hyper right now and I haven't had anything. I haven't even taken my vitamins today. So, which I need to do. But yeah, so maybe that is one thing I've noticed. Um, but 
yeah i'm about to go i'm about to go to the store i don't think i'm taking y'all with me to the store should i go to trader joe's or should i go to whole foods i i don't know i don't know where the trader joe's is near me and i do know where the whole foods is and it's not close <sighs> whole foods has more options but they're more expensive <sighs> but wait y'all one more thing i have to tell y'all oh my god i'm so excited <laughs> So y'all, when I was moving here, my laptop broke. I think it happened because of the like moving of the parts, like the vibration from moving and from being in the car for so long or whatever. I think that's why it broke. It just stopped working. Like it stopped working. We tried things to fix it, whatever. It just doesn't work anymore. So I've been needing a new laptop. We have a desktop though. So that's what I've been using. But to be productive, I really needed a laptop. For editing whatever y'all my husband bought me a laptop i'm so excited oh hold on not me about to tell y'all my password anyways i'm changing my password anyway i was watching this girl video because i came across a different video i keep watching bbl videos regrets on bbls and the bbl epidemic i don't know i'm fascinated but <laughs> I ain't getting no BBL. Never even thought about getting one. I don't know why I just keep watching this video. But this girl has a whole series on her regrets of it. What's her name? Miss R Fabulous. So I was watching her videos. I need to actually finish this one. But yeah, so I'm so excited. This laptop has... It came with... So I don't know if y'all know this. I don't know if you guys are aware, but you can buy preloaded laptops. Of course, that means that they're used. However you will get certain things that cost a lot of money so it comes with the full adobe suite so let's go to launch pad and it comes with everything it also comes with the microsoft thing um i don't think that's called suite it might be but it comes with that as well um but yeah so it has all of the adobe stuff photoshop it came with um i want to get i wanted final cut pro but this one came with um What is it? Adobe Premiere Pro? Yeah, it came with Adobe Premiere Pro. One thing y'all might not know about me, I love editing. I went to school for graphic design. I've gone to school for everything, so you're gonna hear me say that. I have gone to school a lot for a lot of different things. So I've gone to school for so many different things, but I was a self-taught graphic designer. Um, I started teaching myself through YouTube um i had photoshop i think i was like 16 17 my godmom bought me like a photoshop she bought me one from the thrift store um and child i was on go like i was <laughs> i was so excited i was using that thing yes yeah, so yeah so i do all my stuff like my intro my outros my banner all anything you ever see i did it I love editing. I love, um, I'm just like artistic things. So that's why I like makeup and I like beauty expression. Like, I just like anything that is creative. So yeah, so I'm so excited, so excited to learn this. I'm gonna be watching so many YouTube videos and all this, y'all gonna probably see a little bit of effects and stuff that y'all haven't seen previously in my videos because I didn't really have the ability to do them. Um, plus this is only my third vlog and I don't have that many videos on my channel. My channel is kind of new. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm so hype and I'm so thankful and grateful. Um, I'm so happy. Thanks. Thank you to my husband. I'm so excited for this. Um, yeah. But yeah, I had to share that with y'all. I had to tell y'all about that. But I really need to go because I have places to go and stores are gonna close soon. So let me get going. All right, update. I ended up going to Sam's Club because who did I think I was? I was not about to drive a half an hour to Whole Foods. I wasn't doing that. I don't even know what I was thinking about. So I just went to Sam's Club and then I'm gonna go to Publix to get, you know, some small stuff, whatever. <sighs> but anyways, I just left Michael's um why did i think michael's was going to have packaging like what was in my mind that i thought that where do you get packaging from do you have to order it online 
or do you just go to the post office? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but Michael doesn't sell stuff like that. I don't know why they don't sell stuff like that. It makes sense to me that they would, but they don't. So I just got some um, wrapping paper because really I wanted to do that anyway, but I wanted to get something to put that in. But I'll get that at the post office tomorrow, but I got some wrapping paper and stickers and a marker to write like, you know, a thank you note or whatever. So yeah, um, I'm excited because it's gonna look so cute. But I'm about to go to Publix and then go home because I'm supposed to be cooking. Um, I mean, I'm cooking salmon to go with the leftovers we had. I had made some rice. So, um, I'm going to make some salmon to go with the rice. I will see y'all and I'll show y'all. Well, I can show y'all right now. This is the wrapping paper I got. It has like, I wish it was just blank but it's not and that's fine i can deal with that and then wait why is michael giving out black bags like what this is a corner store bag where did i get this bag from and then i got these stickers i'm gonna write a thank you note and i got this marker where's my marker i got this marker so I'm going to use that marker to write the note and it's going to be cute. I just got to get home and finish everything up, take the picture, send the picture to the client and then cook, all that stuff. I want to wash my hair either tonight or tomorrow. Probably going to end up doing it tomorrow because I'm pretty busy tonight. I don't like this headband and it's sliding back. Yeah, let me get going. Okay, y'all, it is so late at night and my lighting is so bad but i finally finished this masterpiece <laughs> i'm so excited i freehanded this it was such a challenge but i got it done and i'm so proud of myself i just hope the client loves it i'm gonna do a tutorial for this i just i'm so happy with it it came out so nice. When I do the tutorial though, I'm doing it in one color because I'm going to make it for myself to wear on vacation. So the tutorial is just going to be in one flat color. She's going to Jamaica, so she requested these colors. But oh my gosh, it's done. <laughs> it was such a challenge, such a challenge. But these are like the moments where I feel so rewarded. Like... And I mean, it's not my original design. Um, she sent me this off of a website, but still just as a crocheter, like how far I've come from like when I couldn't freehand at all and I needed a pattern for everything, but now I create my own designs and then I can just recreate things that I see. Um, as far as I know, I can't track down the original designer of this. This is like a fast fashion type of style I've been seeing a lot. Um, and I did do like some reverse image searches to see if I could find an original and I couldn't but um, I'm just so happy with this <laughs> hey y'all so it's Thursday I'm currently packaging the order I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like um, I put my little sticker on there and then I tied it this is just so cute so me my aesthetic is giving natural and earthy i just like this little packaging i did but yeah so i oh let me tell y'all the note just says thank you it says hand wash and hang to dry and then i'm gonna also i'm gonna wrap it in this just to give it some extra safety so that you know because this is paper so that it doesn't get punctured but um yeah all right bye so I'm on my way to the post office. I'm trying to excuse the shakiness of the camera. I'm trying to find a way I can set this up and drive. Oh, I think we got it. I think we got a spot. I think we found a spot, y'all. All right. So this is my spot for now. Till I get a new car. When I get a new car. Speaking it in existence. When I get a new car, because y'all. 
I need to get a car for myself that's not a family car. I need my own car. Um, when I get my car, I'm going to make sure I get one that has like the thing at the top where you can sit your stuff in, a catch-all. So then I'll be able to put my stuff or put my camera there, whatever. So, but this is a pretty good and secure spot that I have the camera in that I feel like I can drive safely with it without it crashing so that I can um, talk to y'all. I have to put in my GPS because I don't know how to get nowhere. Nowhere. Not call. Not call. Directions. Get me where I'm going. All right. We on our way. All right, so we're going to the post head office. Head drive. Girl, you're telling all my business. All right, we're headed to the post office to mail off this package. I'm yelling because I don't know if the camera is too far to pick up my voice, so I'm sorry if I'm loud. And if I am, I'll just try to turn it down a little bit in the editing. Oh, this is a perfect spot for my camera. Oh, look at that. It's not moving at all. But let me stop paying attention to the camera and just drive. I just had a lot of stuff that I wanted to talk to y'all about. Um, just like, oh my God. When I tell y'all I am so freaking relieved that I finished that item and I finished it before the due date. <laughs> um, the due date was Saturday. So I'm just so glad that I got it done because I was getting so worried. I was, I just kept having to rework it. I'm just so happy with the turnout of it. I'm so in love with it. Like people are always like, oh my God, like I should keep this. That's how I am. Like I want to keep it for myself. I want to keep it. Except like the color scheme, I'm not going, where I'm going on vacation, that doesn't, it's not, you know, relevant. But I still, I would wear it. <laughs> but, um, no, I'm just going to make one for myself. Um, I have to, like, I have to have one for myself. I'm, like, obsessed with it. I'm, like, oh, my freaking gosh, I have to have one of these. So, yeah, I'm going to get started on that today and creating a tutorial for y'all. Um, so that y'all can make one yourselves, too, if you want. I'm probably going to get started on that tonight. I have so many things that I need to get done, like, I'm so, like when I tell y'all, remember we was talking about me taking orders and not taking orders or whatever? I'm, I have to take a break from taking orders. Like I just have to. Um, I have so many things I need to do for myself, really for myself. And also like just generally, it takes up so much time. Oh, let me show y'all my shirt. <laughs> my aunt bought me this shirt. It says, can y'all see it? It says, in my dream, y'all can't really see it. And I can't back up the camera because it's going to hit the car. Am I zoomed out? Yeah, I'm zoomed out. Y'all can't see. But it says, in my dream, what did I say? In my dream, yarn is free, coffee is healthy, and crocheting makes you thin. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But um, I'm at the post office now, just sitting outside of it talking to y'all. I don't know what I'm doing with the rest of my day. I am going to start um, my tutorial tonight, probably tonight or tomorrow morning. So that will be uploaded. I, I want to do a sit down video with y'all, but y'all, I feel so free now. I feel so free. <laughs> like my schedule is open. I can get back to creating content. I was doing really good. I was so consistent on Instagram. I was doing really good posting Instagram reels, all that stuff. And now I have fallen off of everything because I was working for the last couple weeks. But now I have an open schedule um at least for the rest of this month y'all i'll be all over the place so i'm telling y'all i'm not taking orders but let somebody text me in october I, I don't know what i'm gonna do okay i don't know but right now i'm free i can't take any more orders because i'm about to go on vacation so i definitely am free for the rest of september hi so it's um what is it it's friday i'm sorry i just be coming to y'all however i am like <laughs> Let me put my hair. Let me do something. Hold on. I'm wearing my hair in a ponytail anyway. 
and I'm already showered. I know I got on night clothes, but <laughs> I did take a shower today. And um, I'm actually about to leave the house soon. I'm out of breath because I just ran up the steps with my nasty gal package and finally came. It's huge. So I'm about to hang this stuff up. I'm not recording my haul tonight. I think I'm gonna record it on Sunday most likely. But um, this is gonna be a cute little haul. I guess y'all can watch me. I guess y'all can watch me hang my stuff up, but I'm not showing y'all the pieces yet until, oh, I had bought this. I will show y'all this though. I had bought this and I was like, it looked like it might work as a bathing suit and I think it will, except it doesn't have any like, um, it's a bodysuit. We'll see. But yeah, I'm just hanging my clothes up here so they can be prepared. Also, I don't want to iron anything, so hanging them up will help some of the wrinkles fall out. Oh, this is nice. Oh, y'all can't see this, yet. This is nice. It's a coat. Oh, this is nice. This is going to be like a little fall haul. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to try to smell right now. Uh-huh. Oh, this is nice, it's oversized. Wow, this is like really big. Oh wow, this is really big. Like this is huge. I don't know, I don't usually like oversized stuff on me. Whatever. But I love it. I don't know why I'm talking to y'all like I'm about to show y'all the stuff. Their stuff, okay, so here's a little quick review. Their stuff runs big. Keep that in mind. What is this? I didn't order this. Cause I would never order this. This is ugly. I didn't order this. I don't know what this is, but I didn't order this. I didn't order this. Okay, let me show y'all. I did not order this. It's a bodysuit. Oh yeah, that stuff runs big. Oh wow. Sorry. Y'all just watching me hang this stuff up. You guys, uh, I really like the stuff I ordered so far. It does seem like it's going to run big, but I'm not mad at it. Oh, I'm not mad at it. Like, some of this stuff is so nice. Oh, I can't wait to record my haul video. I'm not going to try anything on yet because, you know, I'm about to leave. So I'm kind of just rushing to hang this stuff up. I honestly don't want to have to iron anything, so if I do end up having to iron stuff, no, you know what? I'm just not ironing anything, so <laughs> when y'all see the whole video, don't be mad that it's wrinkled, because, like, I, I can't do it. That's a little bit too much work for me. It's a little bit, just a little bit too much work. Maybe I'll get to that point, but at this point, at this point, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's too much work. Oh, <laughs> Hmm. Why do I feel like there's things in this or thing that I didn't order? I would I don't think I would have ordered this. Oh wait, maybe I did. Oh, I think I was planning to wear this to the airport. Oh, I need to see my receipt because I don't think I ordered this in this size. Or maybe I did. Maybe this is the last size they had. check because it seems like these sizes are kind of all over the place I don't know if I would have ordered this I just feel like I wouldn't have ordered a size 24 when typically I wear a size 20 maybe 22 sometimes depending on the item like I know that I did order something 24 because I really wanted it and it was the last item they had in my size but I don't think this was it all right so um I finished hanging everything up little sneak peek Wow, I got a lot of stuff. Oh, and I have to hang up that, I have to hang up that Tupac shirt that I got. Yeah, I have to hang that up too, so I don't forget. Um, But yeah, I'm about to get myself together so we could go so that we can get back because I wanna start recording a tutorial tonight. Hey y'all, so I'm back home. I'm, um, I don't have any way to lift my camera up. I wanted to put the camera facing my table. I'm about to start recording my tutorial. 
So I already have my phone here on my overhead tripod and I'm about to get the yarn. So the tutorial that I'm about to record is this. So I'm gonna be showing how to make this piece. So that's what I'm about to record right now. Um, That's not gonna be in this vlog, of course. Oh, I forgot. I can't even start recording yet. My nails, I have a press on nails to put on cause I'm gonna get my nails done. Oh no. If I'm getting my nails done tomorrow, I shouldn't do the press on nails, right? Oh, snaps. Okay, I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna start. I'm not waiting until tomorrow to start. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow morning, but I'm gonna start recording. Let me just like, oh, let me like clean up something. I don't know. <laughs> I need to put some oil on my hands or something. Hold on. See, I hate doing tutorials when my nails are not done but whatever that's what it is it's like all right hold on i have to make space in my phone as i have talked about before i like to record on my cell phone my tutorials on my cell phone everything else i record on my camera but i record my tutorials on my cell phone and i edit them on my cell phone um it just makes it easier for me to edit them faster the tutorials are harder to edit than like my other content like haul videos or anything like that or vlogs the tutorials are harder to edit so doing it on my phone just makes it more convenient and means i can do it anywhere and save some time because i know it's going to take longer than anything else so i like to edit them on my phone also dealing with this kind of camera on the tripod and trying to do the overhead thing is super annoying. <laughs> today i'm actually running late my appointment at the nail salon is at 1 30 and right now it's like 1 10 <laughs> and i think the nail salon is probably like 10 15 minutes away from me um yeah so i need to hurry up so I'm gonna go to the nail salon. Then I'm going to um, the hair store. And then I'm going to Marshall's to get some clothes for the kids. So I'm gonna go there and then 
yeah at the hair store I'm just getting eyelashes I might get my hair for um, vacation because I'm doing distress locks I'm doing them myself so I might just get that hair today while I'm out um it would make sense to just go ahead and get it right so I'm gonna do my hair for vacation a week early because I like the way it looks when it's like old I don't want them freshly done when I go on vacation going to the nail salon so often is so interesting to me because I definitely used to be the type to not get my nails done um except for special occasions and now when my nails are not done I just feel so crazy like I feel like I just look oh <laughs> I don't know like I just feel like my nails being done just gives me a little bit more Put together like it feels more put together I'm definitely a get your nails done often and refill girl now I hope this nail salon I'm going to because I actually have a nail girl that I go to but she's like an hour away and I wasn't actually planning to get my nails done this week but I just like I said I just wasn't feeling it so I was like I have to get my nails done so um the girl that I usually go to she's an hour away and she she's an hour she's an hour away and she stays booked like she's always booked like you have to book with her like a month in advance she's really good um so yeah I can't go to her last minute so I'm just gonna go to her now I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get a point uh, an appointment before my vacation because a lot I was trying to figure out a lot of things with the dates and all that stuff so I didn't schedule my appointment for my nails yet and I'm just like I probably won't even be able to get one but I can't stress it I'm about to go ahead and go <laughs> all right y'all so I just left the nail salon and look I have eyelashes now I shouldn't have done this I shouldn't have got my lashes done in there um I don't know he was like they were he was like they're 45 dollars i'm like oh that's cheap so i was like all right i'm gonna just get them i shouldn't have done it and look so i got my nails done they're nothing special and they look crusty i meant to ask for lotion but honestly they look crusty regardless just the way he did them i don't really like i'm very particular about my nails and i need to stop doing this like i need to just keep going to the person i like and that i go to all the time and just let her do my nails and like stop getting my nails done last minute like I need to just schedule my appointments with her in time so that my nails can look how I want them to look because I don't like these that much they're okay but they're just very basic because he didn't have the stuff he needed for the design I wanted and so I'm just like no we're not even y'all not even gonna play games on my nails but then here I go letting it play on my eyes like why did I do this like so I said are they individual lashes like are they individuals are they strips he's like no they go on your lash they go on your lash I'm like okay they go on your lash that's what I want I don't want glue cuz I could do that myself child why why I get glued on lashes but I was like let me just see like let me just get it done because when he was about because I was about to say never mind I don't want it but then I was like I'm gonna just get it because honestly I hate doing my own lashes so I'm like whatever let me just um I feel like my nose is running though from getting the lashes done so let me blow my nose I mean they look okay like I asked for whiskey so then he charged me $15 more so he charged me 60 all together and he charged me 60 dollars for my nails like what i got a basic i got a full set so i got acrylic but i didn't even get polish i just got pink um powder i i'm like this is insane like i don't know that's he like they're tripping with that i mean i like my lashes just for the fact that i like having lashes <laughs> but i don't really like my lashes like I don't like the way they were done I don't like the glue thing they're gonna start to fall off one already fell off um yeah hmm Ugh, whatever I have an appointment I had bought a Groupon for eyelash extensions and I have an appointment before my vacation to get those done and I'm gonna text my my girl that does my nails to see if she can if she has any appointments it's three weeks away so like I'm hoping because this is not it 
Like, I cannot be dealing with these people because I definitely can't have these lashes to go on vacation. But I already have an appointment for that, so we're good for that. But I also want a certain um, design on my nails before I go on vacation, so I really need to go to a real nail tech. Um, anyways, so I just ordered some sushi and I'm waiting on that cooked sushi because I don't really like raw, I never had raw sushi, but. I can't bring myself to eat it. Oh, I can still wear my glasses. That's good. I'm probably just gonna wear them for driving. Even though I can see in the day. I can drive without my glasses in the day, but I can't drive without my glasses at night. But yeah, y'all. I don't know why I let people do stuff. Like, why did I let them do this? I should not have got these lashes done. Hey y'all, it's Sunday. Um, I actually don't think I'm gonna vlog much. Sorry, I'm just rubbing this moisturizer into my face that I just put on. Um, I actually don't think I'm gonna vlog much today. But I wanted to show you all the stuff I got from Marshalls yesterday because when I got home, I started cleaning up and everything and I never got around to it. But first, do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? I just got these done yesterday. It's crazy, but this eye is not budging and I couldn't sleep last night because this one was poking the bottom the bottom lash line but yeah this is like crazy why did i let them do this oh my gosh okay this bag right here i did get some stuff for me not clothes but like other stuff candles and earrings and whatever that's all i ended up picking up for myself but i'm gonna show you all that too but let's start so these clothes are oh i think they just mixed them up i thought I had organized it which I did organize it for them to put them for them to put them how I wanted them but they just mix all the clothes up so they're not in any particular size or whatever
Okay, y'all, so that's all the kids' clothes I got. Um, let me pull y'all closer because I got some earrings. Uh, and mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I wish it was not so dark in this. Um, the lighting in my house. The lighting in my house is just like so, um, I don't know, it's so warm. I guess it's yellow. I have to get new light bulbs because I really, it really annoys me. It's really not enough light. But I'm going to show y'all the earrings first. So these earrings, they're like butterflies. I literally, I swear, Marshall's is the plug for like very cute and unique earrings i promise y'all they have some very nice on my way out i saw some earrings like this like this little like wiry type of look and they were earth the planet earth and i was like oh my gosh i wish i would have saw those but i wasn't getting back in line for them but yeah these are butterflies i feel like these are kind of summer springish but i just was like i'm gonna get them anyway because they're so pretty to me and then I got um, these. I've really been into really small, tiny hoops <laughs> lately, and I like these. Then I got these, you know, small, cute. And I used to be like a big hoops all the time type of person, but lately I've just been into more simple jewelry, like, you know. And then I got a bunch of candles, oh, y'all. So my favorite brand of candles is Sand and Fog. My absolute favorite brand of candles. Y'all see, it burns so pretty. So they burn really nicely and they smell amazing. They, the smell like, it's just, ugh. I don't know what the word is, but you can smell it everywhere. Like it's very, I don't know. And they smell really good. Like they don't smell, um, I don't know there are certain things certain candles that I'm just like I don't know I don't know this is the only brand of candle that I can just say like hits every time <laughs> like some candles are hit and miss to me but this brand is very consistent and I love it I think I'm gonna end the vlog here pretty sure I don't have anything else going on today I was thinking about going to this thing but then I found out it was ten dollars a person and I was just like I'm not doing that it's it was never that serious so i'm just about to eat breakfast and chill out for the rest of the day well not really chill because i still have to finish recording my tutorial um but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye. and thanks for watching dixie saying bye say bye bye